Error 666. It was another normal Friday, or so I thought. Coming back from school, I usually hop on Fortnite around 6pm to party with friends, and, well, I noticed right upon starting up my PlayStation 4 and booting up Fortnite that something just seemed off. We received an update two days ago, and ever since that update, things just didn't seem quite right or as if it functioned correctly in the game. I would notice my screen would flicker on and off and I couldn't quite understand the response I was getting. I thought maybe it was something wrong with my PlayStation. Having checked the HDMI cord and even replaced it, I still was getting the same problem. The screen would flicker on and off and sometimes get distorted and almost completely turn a color that of almost red. I told my friends about this, and they didn't seem too concerned, as if they thought just as I did, maybe it was my HDMI cable. Having replaced my HDMI cable, I mentioned that to them. They said, perhaps it is a bug with the version of Fortnite that you have downloaded. I, I didn't quite understand what they were trying to tell me, and it seemed as if they was not having any error message either. Well, we played from 6pm to 9 PM. Right at 9 p.m., I noticed it got incredibly worse as all of a sudden the screen turned red and it started distorting and flickering like it once did before. Continuing forth, they completely distorted and the game started changing as if all the textures in the game was purple and red and colors that you would never expect to be mixed with Fortnite. It, the game looked like it was a complete version of hell. I was terrified. I, I I didn't know what to do. I couldn't hear my friends in the party chat it, as if their voice got deepened and sounded demonic, as if these voices was coming through their chat. And terrified, I I I, I threw my headset, only to look at the screen and see a message. On Fortnite, say an error, 666, please turn off the game. <clears throat> well, well, well. Alright, so this is a rather short creepy pasta. I am aware of that, but I wanted to talk about it because I thought it was very interesting. And I know we get new updates on Fortnite all the time. And Fortnite, being a game that we all know and love and play with our friends and party up, I think there's a lot of weird things to take from this specific creepy pasta. Now, although this one is rather short, it wasn't written perfectly. I had to kind of alter it at some points to make sense of it. But I want to go in and talk about this and ask if anybody has well reported or came across any weird glitch or bug that is in reference and almost identical to this one specifically. I thought this was very, very odd, and that's why I wanted to talk about it. I mean, Error 666, where did this come from, and what if it is real for some weird reason? This would definitely put me on edge, and I think I will be thinking twice every time I play Fortnite. Now, one thing is for sure, Fortnite is full of many creepy pastas now, even from spotting Slenderman in Welling Woods and finding Slenderman pages actually. Actually, I, I mean, it's there's valid evidence of that almost. So, like, it really makes you bring questions, and it, it makes you wonder what if, if the developers are throwing little hints and scary, maybe something scary in the game to kind of throw us off a little hidden Easter egg of sort. We know Fortnite is full of many Easter eggs and many secrets that well most do not know, and I think that is what really creates an interesting spice and tie to the game outside of the competitive nature. Fortnite primarily being a game that is focused on competitivity and uh, well trying to one up the other and well rank up as high as you can on the leaderboards, it's very odd when it does decide to take a turn that we would never expect and add a creepy twist. Now that being of course no other than this error message here that this individual reportedly had. Now we also have to take back and retract and understand that creepy pastas are that related to conspiracy theories almost. They're kind of stories that may be fictional or non-fictional depending on the evidence that can back it up. However, sometimes we do not get valid evidence to weigh later on down the line. So it's really theories and many things that we know of in life as itself that we stand behind are theories 
themselves. So that be the case, we cannot say specifically if this creepypasta was fake or real. If, if anybody else experienced this weird error message, then definitely let me know in the comment section below. But I want to give my overall opinions on that and talk about it a little bit more in depth. And that's what I'm bringing to the table. And that's what we're about to dive into. So as always, if you guys haven't, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, be sure to enable post notifications by ringing the bell, making it go ding. That way you guys don't miss a single upload here on the channel. I upload creepy pastas, Minecraft videos, investigations of sort, and it only gets better. But back to the topic at hand here, and that is Error 666, the new creepy pasta that has surfaced on Fortnite itself. Now, we don't get many creepypastas with Fortnite. Many things do not occur or happen, and I think that is obvious, and I think a lot of people can agree that it's not every day we see a new creepypasta surface, and that's why today when this one did, I had to give a little bit of a dive into it and read it for all of you and also give my opinion on it. Now, Fortnite is receiving new updates from time to time, be it if it is a bug patch, uh, it, it fixing up some glitches, but however, this could have been a very rare occurrence in he did not say the time or the update that this was specifically orientated towards, so this could have been the last update. This could be our current update. But the game seemed to be glitching a lot, flickering on and off, the screen turning and distorting in odd ways that seemed almost dem demonic, I suppose. Relating to the number 666, as many people would tie that to a devilish uh, terminology, maybe that just adds to the creepy nature of it. I would say this, he even fixed his HDMI cable. He said that, uh, well, of course, if you're playing on your console and you notice flickering and something to do with the display, you would instantly imagine that it is to do with the HDMI and not the game itself, especially if it's flickering on and off and going completely black, although he didn't exactly state just that. So, obviously, as anybody would logically do, he decided to replace his HDMI and continue playing. I understand some people enjoy Fortnite and take it so serious they would have no problem going out and buying a new HDMI cable just for the possibility of assuring they can continue getting that edge that uh, they're aiming towards uh, while playing. So, he replaces the HDMI only to notice it's still doing the same thing. If we listen, he even tells his friends and they think not much of it and tell him just pretty much basic uh, information that doesn't really help him in any regard at all and this is weird because if it was an updated issue then maybe it would be happening to other players as well and not him specifically so this is why I thought it was interesting to bring this up in video perhaps error 666 and this error that this individual happened to experience was well that of a myth and that of some of his own imagination however if any of you out there have experienced anything relating to this at all this could mean something really dark for Fortnite. If the error known as 666 happens to surface upon Fortnite and actually become a thing, this could mean Fortnite has a much more darker tie and a much more darker past or what it's trying to you know, dilute that we actually realize. This is very interesting, but... Personally, myself, I have never experienced any error message whatsoever, uh, maybe other than you have been disconnected due to uh, internet uh, or something of relating sort, I'm sure many of you as well. Um, that's really the only error message I've ever received. I've never received one update that happened to be uh, really glitchy and stuff. However, we have seen many glitches in Fortnite well, like a, uh, it, that seem to be so orientated towards the perfect time. I, I think a lot of you people could recall the, the leprechaun glitch around the... Uh, it was St. Patrick's Day, and all of a sudden there happened to be a leprechaun glitch where players were miniature, in a sense. Although Epic Games came out and deliberately said this was merely an accident and a coincidence, who believes in coincidences? That is very odd, and if this error 666 message has happened to a few players, maybe not as many, but a few, and it still continues to surface from time to time, this could be interesting. Now, we haven't actually checked the game files of Fortnite, so we cannot deliberately say this is an error, official error message or of sorts, but it still is something that could put you on edge, and if you ever get a message like this, you may want to think about playing another game other than Fortnite. Either way, personally, I think it was odd, his screen started diluting, it got red, his friends as they were chatting turned into a deep and demonic like voice. 
maybe maybe he just had too much caffeine or, or, or something i'm not exactly sure what this individual was going through or experiencing but i still think it was very interesting and that's why i wanted to bring to you all a unique fortnite creepypasta unlike any other and give my overall final thoughts on it as well if you've experienced anything like this please do post it in the comment section below if you have a fortnite creepypasta or a story of something creepy that happened to you while you played fortnite be sure to post it in the comment section below and as always we're going to continue delivering you utmost righteous and unbelievable content here on the channel so do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button because i'm going to be honest you don't want to get left behind we're going to go up and it's going to be a wonderful time honestly i make videos because you all give me support it's unbelievable and uh yeah i hope to be able to do my best truly guys so thanks so much and i will see you all in the next one